Alright, hello guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about a cooldown that is going to bring fall-like temperatures starting now, actually, through the 13th of August. So we're going to be feeling some pretty cool temperatures here for the eastern United States, especially the northeastern United States. The southeast could stay warm, but in general we could see, be seeing pretty cool temperatures there for the northeastern United States. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I make all sorts of videos like this. And also make sure to check out the links in the description and the pinned comment for my social medias. Now, let's get right into things. We're looking at the ECMWF Ensemble model. And this one doesn't up to update every day, so keep that in mind. This updated on the 5th, and we're looking at the 10th through the 17th, even though the time frame we're talking about is from the 7th through the 13th, and I'm going to have a forecast map that I actually made, handcrafted, at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that, because that's going to be the most accurate of all of these pictures that I show. But... We are looking at the 10th through the 17th on the ECMWF Ensemble model, and notice those warm temperatures first off for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and New Mexico. We have a really big ridge there that looks to eventually move east as we head later into the month, so we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video, but what I want to talk about right now is the colder temperatures there for Montana, into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Great Lakes, and the northeastern United States into New England where we have two to four degrees below average Celsius. This isn't the coldest time frame that we have on this entire video, don't worry, because this isn't too far below average, though New England in this would be feeling quite cool and feeling fall-like temperatures, most likely lower 70s in this time frame, in this seven-day time frame, lower 70s, very possible for highs. So just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. And then you can see by later in August, so 23rd to the 30th, we have very warm temperatures, for that middle portion of the United States, again, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and then eastward also, this would extend into the eastern United States. Very interesting stuff. And then it shows a cool down there for early September. Obviously, I don't know how accurate this will be as it's 30 days out. I just wanted to show that right now, the EPS model, which is, again, the European Ensemble model, is showing a little bit of a cool down there for the beginning of September. We'll have to see how that plays out over the next month and, and see if that continues to show that. Anyway, we're moving on to our GEFS model, which is the GFS Ensemble model. So changing up models a little bit. And this one's for the 11th through the 16th. And this one up, updates daily. So this one's a little bit of a newer model run. And you can see from Montana into the Dakotas into... This one extends a little bit further south. So Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Ohio. You're feeling this a little bit more on this one as well as maryland virginia delaware dc so it, it extends a little bit further south but you can see we're still expecting very cold temperatures there for the new england states as well as the dakotas minnesota wisconsin all of us are feeling quite cool by this point again lower 70s and then lows in the lower 50s most likely for a lot of regions here so very very fall like pattern or at least like a late september pattern here uh, that the, the, the models are showing as of right now. And this is very short range. You know, this is within 200 hours on a temperature anomaly forecast. So this isn't very long range at all. So keep that in mind as well. But North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota, Montana, and then the New England and upstate New York uh, state area. That's going to be the two coldest regions according to this model. And then you can see from the 13th through the 18th, we still have a cool down. I'm going to have a video on this time frame, like after the 14th. I'm going to make a specific video for that, probably tomorrow or the next day, kind of talking about our next big cool down. And that's going to be the next one we're going to be talking about because I haven't really made a forecast video for that time frame. And that's going to be interesting to talk about because we will be seeing below average temperatures for this time frame in the eastern United States and the north central United States. And you, as you can see, it is pretty far below average, 4 degrees below average Celsius or more, which will be, again, pretty noticeable and feel like early fall at least. So stay tuned for that video. Now we're looking at actual air temperatures, and you can see this is for the low temperature. And again, I was talking about lower 50s for a lot of regions. So in, in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, northern Indiana, northern Illinois, northern Ohio, West Virginia, Northern Virginia, Pennsylvania, up into New York, upstate New York, and the New England states. Again, lower 50s, not too crazy here, and, and that, that will feel like fall. I mean, lower 50s, you're starting to talk about almost feeling like seeing your breath. So that's just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. And you can see in 
very far northern Maine there and very far northern New Hampshire and Vermont. We're talking about almost upper 40s, so very, very cold temperatures there for this time of year. And that's on the 10th, so this is the low temperature from the 9th, the night of the 9th heading into the 10th. And then you can see our high temperatures the next day during the 10th, so Saturday, August 10th is, again, in the lower 70s for a lot of regions, 75 for Wisconsin, but really 70s all over the place. Uh, There for Ohio, Indiana, lower 70s, lower 70s for Pennsylvania, upstate New York, upper 60s for some of the mountains, as well as Vermont, New Hampshire, and upper Maine. We're looking at mid 60s. So again, pretty fall like temperatures there for all of these regions that I just mentioned because very, very cold. And also talking about that warm up there for the central United States, notice we're seeing a lot of 100s or upper 90s there for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico. This this death ridge, I guess that's what they're calling it now. Uh, that's that's centered over you guys or that very strong high pressure system that's bringing very, very, very warm temperatures for you guys. And that looks to eventually head east. Bad news for us in the east is people, a lot of people don't want, you know, upper 90s or 100 degree temperatures. It is possibly on the way. Now, here's my official forecast map again that I was talking about for the temperatures from the 7th through the 13th. And I'm going to break it down region by region. Now, first off, notice that we have some slightly below average temperatures there for Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, Col- or California, I almost said Colorado. But that's going to be not very noticeable. It'll be near average, but slightly below average temperatures for you guys. Then we have our warmer than average temperatures, which, which extends from the Rockies in southern Montana into Wyoming, down into Colorado, down into New Mexico. And again, it gets very, very warm as we head into New Mexico, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, as we see the third shade of red show up. I don't usually pull that one out, the third shade. I, I don't pull that out for everything. And I did decide to show it for this one because I think it's going to be very, very, very warm for you guys, if not even very hot, almost scorching. Uh, for Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma. So be on the lookout. It is going to be very hot and also very dry. No precipitation basically over the next few days for you guys. So just try to make it through it. It's going to be it's going to be rough. And again, it's headed east. So bad news. Uh, it probably won't be quite as warm, but it is headed east. I think after this time frame. And then you can see the slightly above average temperatures extend from Louisiana, Arkansas, eastward. Uh, into some of the southern states and Gulf states there. So it'll be pretty warm, uh, slightly above average for you guys. And then we have our below average temperatures, the the area that this video is basically made for, from Montana down into South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, eastward, all the way to the east coast. So Kansas or Kentucky, Virginia, northern North Carolina, northern Tennessee, All of these areas northward are going to be slightly below average. So the Great Lakes, New England, upstate New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, up the East Coast. And then we have two areas of, you know, more below average. So the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, and then also Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York. These are going to be the areas that are more consistently cold and also have the more below average temperatures. These are the areas where, again, we could be talking about lower 50s. For you guys in the lows and then upper or lower 70s as highs, which again is pretty fall like for a lot of you. I mean, Minnesota, North Dakota, and Michigan, maybe that's not too crazy. But as you head into South Dakota, Iowa, Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, it's getting uh, pretty fall like. I mean, we've seen cool downs like this in the past, obviously, but it's just pretty notable as it's going to be a really good relief from the summertime temperatures. And it's going to feel a lot like fall and probably get a lot of you that do like fall pretty excited for fall time as it's going to be kind of a sneak peek into those colder temperatures. I know that always happens to me when we have a cool down this time of year. I'm always just getting super pumped for just feeling a little bit more crisp and getting ready for fall. You know, bonfires, all sorts of stuff. Football, football is coming up. I cannot wait for football. Uh, Actually, let me know in the comments what football team you guys like. That's a good question. What is your favorite NFL team? How about that? <laughs> Viewer question of the day. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the forecast map at the end, too. I'm trying to bring more of my original maps that I handcraft into the videos. I'm trying to show more of those because I feel like uh, it's 
it's more of like what I'm calling for. Instead of just telling you guys, showing the model runs, and then telling what I disagree with or agree with, I decided that I'm, I am still going to show the models, but at the same time, I'm also going to handcraft my maps and show what I'm actually thinking and put it on screen because it's, it's easier to visualize it, I think, for you guys. So let me know what you think about that. I've been making more of the maps that I draw and being a little less lazy, I think, because it takes more work, but I've decided that more work is kind of better at this point. So anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Again, a new video coming up for the big cooldown that's coming up after the 13th because this one's from the 7th through the 13th and there's going to be another video coming out for the next cooldown after that, which is the 14th and beyond. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, guys, have a great week. See you guys in the next video.